now i am going to explain about linear filtering methods based on discrete fourier transform here discrete fourier transform provides a discrete frequency representation of finite duration sequence so in the form of a frequency domain that means it can be used to perform linear filtering in frequency domain so these linear filtering methods can be based on dft r first one is use of dft in linear filter that is use of dft in linear filtering second one is filtering in long data sequence second one is filtering in long data sequence so in this long data sequence we have two different methods one is warlap save method and warlap add method one is warlap save method and second one is warlap add method okay so these are the two different methods of linear filtering first we have to see about the use of dft in linear filtering okay use of dft in linear filtering so this is the first one use of dft in linear filtering okay so in this uh, linear filtering uh, we have uh, one is uh, linear convolution and second one is circular convolution so linear convolution linear convolution is nothing but for example h of n is equal to 1 2 3 4 4 and x of n is equal to 1 2 1 2 1 2 okay so how to perform a linear convolution so linear convolution is draw the lines two two lines this is h of n and this is x of n okay so x of n is what so given data is 1 2 1 2 and x of h of n given data is what 1 2 3 4 4 okay. now multiply 1 into 1 1 2 1 2 multiply 2 with 1 2 4 2 4 multiply 3 3 2 3 3 6 3 1 3 and 3 2 6 again 4 1 4 4 2 8 4 8 okay so after that draw the di lines like this okay so draw the lines like this now linear convolution is what x of h of n convolution with x of n so the first one is what y of n is equal to the first one is what 1 comma 2 plus 2 4 and 3 plus 4 plus 1 this means you have to add like this okay add like this so 2 plus 2 4 3 plus 4 plus 1 8 again 4 plus 6 plus 2 plus 2 that means 14 next one is 12 plus 3 15 10 and 8 okay so this is a linear convolution linear convolution linear convolution okay so let us see the second convolution that is circular convolution okay circular convolution so second one is what circular
So, circular, in circular convolution, let us take, let x of n is equal to, so 1, 2, 3, 1. Let x of n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 1. Okay. So, in the same way, h of n is equal to 1, comma, 1, comma, 1, comma, 0. So, you have to perform circular convolution. So, using a matrix form. So, you can write h of n as n by n matrix. So, let us take x of n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 1 and h of n is equal to 1, 1, 1, 0. So, using matrix approach, so you can write h of n as n by n matrix. That is n by n matrix. So, h of n given data is what? So, you have to write this as column 1, 1, 1, 0. So, after that you have to rotate. So, after rotating, the 0 comes first. Okay. So, after that 1, 1, 1. So, you again rotate. 1, 0, 1, 1. Again rotate. 1, 1, 0, 1. So, if you rotate again, then it again, if you rotate again, the same column you get. So, further you have to stop. Okay. So, 1, 1, 0. Okay. So, what is x of n? 1, 2, 3, 1. Now, find out the circular convolution. Okay. So, multiply this with this. 1 into 1 plus 0 into 2, 1 into 3, 1 into 1. So, 1 plus 3 plus 1. So, you get 5. So, 1 plus 2 plus 1. Okay, 4. Next, 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3, 6. Next, again 6. Okay, 5, 4, 6, 6. So, this is a circular convolution. Okay, circular convolution. So, this circular convolution can be done with zero padding can also be done with zero padding. Now, circular convolution with zero padding. So, let us take x of n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 1. h of n is equal to 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay. So, x of n represents with a count l is equal to how many number of samples here? 4. And h of n is equal to m is equal to 3. Okay, so zero padding is nothing but in X of N, you have to add M minus 1 zeros and H of N add L minus 1 zeros. Okay, so after adding zeros, X of N is equal to what? 1, 2, 3, comma 1. After m is what? 3. 3 minus 1 means how many number of zeros? 2 zeros. You have to add 2 zeros. Okay. So next one is h of n. h of n is equal to 1, comma 1, comma 1. How many number of zeros? We have to add l minus 1. l is what? 4. 4 minus 1 means 3 zeros. 0, comma 0, comma 0. Okay. So again you have to write h of n in n by n matrix form. Okay. So, n by n matrix form means comma 1 comma 1 0 comma 0 and 0 comma 0 comma 0. So, h of n in a matrix form. So, 1 1 1 0 0 0. So, rotate 0 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 Okay, 1, 1, 1, 0. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. Okay, so 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. Next, 1, 0, 0, sorry. 1, 0, 0, 1. So, after rotating, you are get 
same value. Okay. You will do. What is x of n? So this is h of n. Circular convolution. Okay. H of, x of n is what? 1, 2, 3, 1, 0, 0. Okay. So we have to find out. First. Multiply row with this column. 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus. So you are getting value as. First value is what? 1. Next. Next row multiplied with. Again second column you are getting. 3. Okay. So next one is what? 6. So you have to multiply this. With this one you are getting the value as. 6. So after that you are getting again 6. Okay. So next multiply this value with this 1. So you are getting the value as 4. Okay. So last one this column multiply this column multiply with this row. So you are getting the value as one. Okay. Now y of n is equal to what? Y of n is equal to so you are getting 1 comma 3 comma 6 comma 6 comma 4 comma and 1. So this is the circular convolution with zero cardinal.